Hi everyone, Jessica here from Levy Sweet Shop and today I'm making a soap that's going to be called Velvet. It's inspired by a show I watch in Netflix and I'll leave the description um, in the description box below. I'll leave the links so if you're interested in watching it. If you speak Spanish, I highly recommend this. This is, I'm obsessed with this show. It's, it's really, really good and um, it's made in Spain in like the year uh, 1940s so it's, it's a really good show. Um, anyways, the soap, it's um, going to have mainly three colors, which is the a red, and I'm using the really red mica from uh, Nurture, Nurture Soap. I'm using two gold colors, and it's this one from Nurture Soap, and uh, which was this? Peak Candle Supplies, and it's called Sparkle Gold Mica. So these are the two golds that I'm using, and I'm going to use a little bit of white. I'm going to pipe. So I have a piping bag ready, and the scent that I'm using, it's um, scented in sweet neroli blossoms uh, mixed with bitter orange zest, enhanced by pineapple and raspberries with hints of gardenia. So it smells really, really good. I have some embeds. I'm using some gold hearts because this is a love story. Um, the comedy is a love story pretty much, and... Um, that's, I guess that's why I did hearts, but um, they're in gold, and I made, I piped these roses a little bit ago, I think it's like a week and a half ago, um, so I dusted them with gold mica, and I'm going to use them for the top of the soap. So there you go, what do I have, oops, you see I forgot um, my cream and my kaolin clay, so we'll get started shortly. So my plan is to do a bottom layer red, that's only going to be red, and then I'm going to do in the pot swirl with gold, white, and a little bit of red. And then the top is going to be a layer of gold. But I'm going to separate first a little bit for my piping. So just a little bit for my piping. I'm not going to do too much. And I'm going to use my Talon Skinny Mold. So that's that. And here is for my red. A little bit more. color first because it is red and sometimes you need to add more than usual so I'll color it first Almost. Wow. It's 
smells really good. And I needed to add a little bit more of a pink color because, well, it's a dark purpley red. It's a pink vibrance mica that I added to the really red mica. I think that will be a perfect color combination that I'm trying to get to. Wow, it's really behaving really good. So I'll be right back. I want to get my, um, I want to make sure that this is centered, well, leveled, so my line is straight. So when I come back, we'll get started. Pouring it in. Okay, so I'm just going to pour it in. And leave this for the end of the so I think that's perfect. And put it aside. my frosting. I have white for the in the pot swirl. And then I have gold and gold. This is gold for in the pot swirl and this is gold for the top layer. Clean up my stick blender and we'll start off with the white.
Okay, so I hope I didn't break the red layer that I had in the bottom, but we'll see tomorrow, of course. And then now we're going to add in um, the gold layer after I clean the sides up. side and proceed with my gold. Okay, so it's still fluid, um, getting a little bit thicker, but I'm going to wait just a little bit for the other layer to get hard. So I'm ready to pour my gold layer. I'm going to use the back of my spatula. Tap it down. Okay, so that's the soap. Now I'm waiting for my piping to get hard, which is probably going to take a little bit because I don't know why my white takes longer to um, set up. So we'll come back when this is ready to pipe. top now I think this has set up is taking um, over an hour and a half for this to get hard so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it
guys, so here it is, velvet. Um, we'll come back tomorrow for the cutting. Back to cut velvet, and this is what it looks like on the side. I removed it too early. I actually stayed up um, really late last night, and I removed it before going to bed, which was kind of a big mistake. I shouldn't have done that. Um, but that's why you should be patient when you make your soaps. All right, so I'm not gonna cut an end piece because it's gonna look the same. I don't know if I should cut on the side or, um, but I'm gonna try it this way first and then we'll see if it doesn't work then I'll move it to the side. Now the piping, it's, the piping is overboard. Um, it goes to the side of the, of the soap, but that's okay. It gives it that um, special look. Okay. And here it is, velvet. I like it. Um, it smells really good. I think we're cutting good. I don't I don't think I need to move it to the side. Although Oops. Oh no. It's too big. And I don't think I can I'll be able to cut it to the side, will I? I don't know. I'll give it a try. Oh, my piping just fell, my flower. How could I put this back? Oh no. I'm gonna have to see what I can do about that. I hope it doesn't happen to all of them. That would be sad. If there's any way I can stick that back on, let me know, please. Oh, they're all falling off. What? That sucks. <clears throat> I think it's the way I'm cutting it. I'm going to switch back. Yeah, if I cut to the side, then the piping falls off. Now I just have to figure out a way for that to uh, stick back, get it back into the soap. That's very weird. I never had that happen to me. 
So if you have, you know, like I said before, if you have any idea how I can stick, uh, stick the frosting back into the soap, you know, the piping that I made, let me know. And if there's a reason why that happened, because I have no idea. So these might just be looking like this, just plain, um, plain bar of, of soap. Doesn't look bad. It looks nice actually. It smells, it's really good. So. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.